when we were thinking about, you know, what we come back with as far as a Black Eyed Peas album, we wanted to do something more than an album. So, actually, an album is so limiting to creatives in this era with augmented reality tools, virtual reality tools. What the hell is an album? Right? So, an album is yesteryear, it's past era, it's 2000 and late. Um, and even saying that is 2000 and yesterday. So we wanted to like tell this story, create this world, um, and surround folks um, with virtual reality to experience that story and give people uh, AR tools to take their phone and allow the book to come to life. And with that, you're making more music for two different paradigms. You're, you know, you're doing more artwork than you would on an album cover, right? You're only doing one cover, and maybe like two panels in a, but who in the hell walks around with a freaking booklet for a CD cover anymore, except for people that want to sign it? With AR and VR, a book would come to life, with AR, a book would come to life in VR, you're truly immersed, and we just wanted to take advantage of the era and the times and the tools. And it was exciting again, um, you know, just like making our first album. It was like, you know, you don't really know what's gonna happen, but you're really motivated and enthusiastic about it. So it gives you that extra motivation, like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna rock them this summer, sun check this out. You know what I mean? And that's how we approach every uh, a Black Eyed Peas project. You, you gotta have that extra uh, enthusiasm in there. And it was actually um, cool the way that we rolled it out. We, got, we released our graphic novel, partnered up with Marvel at the LA Comic Con. Then when we went to New York, we did augmented reality. And then now here, uh, actually LA Comic Con, we talked about the VR experience. And now here at the Sundance, we're actually uh, premiering it. And uh, you know, it's, it's just great when you could have layers and not just have one thing. Yeah, an album would have been like, we released it and then two weeks later, it would have been done. Yeah. So back to my point, what the fuck is an album? Yeah, and, and going into creating this, this um, um, this audio part of, of this project, um, it was a reflection of the work that we had been putting in individually from the time that we kind of took a break in 2011. Um, we've all been doing a lot of great work in the communities and trying to just use our platform and our voices to, to add on to, you know, efforts that, that are existing that need help, whether it's in the Philippines or in Boyle Heights or in, in uh, um, uh, 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 Ferguson, um, or in, on Indian reservations, there was just something that sparked us to say, hey, when we go back into black IP mode, let's just continue that same wave of, of optimism, hope, and, and, and actually having messaging that will stand the test of time. And we, <clears throat> we also come from, I mean, we rose out of, uh, you know, inner cities, you know, I come from a different ghetto, I'm, I come from a third world ghetto, so, you know, what we're doing as an action now is providing opportunities for the kids like us in the inner cities th through education, through computer labs, and even just classrooms. So that's the, you know, the other solution that we try to do in offsetting what we're talking about also on uh, street living. Uh, in the wake of Fergie stepping away from the group, uh, can you talk about more future fee adding future female voices. There's always been a female voice in the center of your music. Even prior to Fergie, could you talk more about who's on the horizon, who might, you know, you guys might be including in the near future? <clears throat> the great thing about virtual reality is that you could create worlds, characters that aren't real in the real world, and I played a voice on Madagascar and Rio. I played a voice of a bird. I played a voice of a hippo. And, um, you know, the future of the Black Eyed Peas is creating awesome worlds, characters that may not in, exist in real life, but when you hear them, they're going to be just as real as, um, you know, as real. And you could cast and get awesome singers, whether they're famous or not famous. You could take someone that's not famous and make them famous. There's so much opportunities that you can do nowadays with technology and tools. So much 
love and, and joy you could spread throughout the world, especially in these times. And the past was the past. Tomorrow's going to be amazing. And that's the Black Eyed Peas right now.